Subscribers told me to do this book, but he said do chicken wings and sweet and sour sauce. So, of course, you got the fried chicken wings because we talking about all the black what celebrities today. We got the fried chicken wings. We got the queso bites. We have hot sauce, sweet and sour sauce, and also I have Rick They had um, started posting pictures of who these guys is from the surveillance. So, one guy... Now, these are the most stupidest criminals ever because the same thing, the, they went and killed them with the same crow. They don't post the pictures on Instagram. Man, the um, the hats in front of the car they murdered, you know, pulled up and murdered him in. All this. Now, on top of this, you guys, on top of this, it's going to be making it worse. It's going to get deep. So, his, um, Family home. The BMW was found outside behind the family home hiding. Come to find out, y'all. Guess who killed them? The skinny one, which I'm going to post a picture of. I'm going to post pictures of everything I'm talking about. The skinny one, which was his cousin, murdered him. Like, your own cousin murdered you. So it makes sense that the cousin tried to hide the car behind an old family house. You know, because nobody wasn't living in the house. The house was still just like in the family. You know, you don't have somebody to keep a keepsake. I'm going to open this up with my shirt. <clears throat> you know how somebody keep an old family house. Nobody don't stay in there, but they just keep it, you know, just for memories and whatnot. So I was thinking when a car was found at his family house, I'm like, why would a car be that murder someone? Park was why was a murderer park in the his family home? It didn't make sense to me. So this family is torn both ways. I don't know if this is first cousin, second. It don't matter which cousin it is down the line. That's some hang stuff. Like why did you kill him for? I want to. I'm not gonna stop uh, following this. I want to know why. Why did he kill him for? And the guy um, who I'm gonna post a picture of. In the video, he looked young. Mm. He looked young, real young. So, um, prayers out to the family. You know, a sad situation. But one thing you sit up here. Masters over all his um music, so his you know remembrance, his money, everything that he made, he made one million dollars after he passed away, which is not a good thing because why we have to recognize our artists after they pass, recognize him while he was alive. You know we need to start doing it as people. <sighs> recognize our artists, right him. You know, I always been a dog fan. So I'm gonna follow this story. I'm gonna be at the trial. You know. Cause this is a bad like nah. Like I wonder what the cuz was thinking. Was it a jealousy thing or an envy thing, or was it over something? What happened? 
Like, did something happen? Did they get into it or, you know, something went on. And we got to the deep and to the dumb that ruined their whole life. Ruined their whole life. And people were saying, oh, it was your guy. Uh, it was um, Soldier Boy. Come on now. I knew it was something else in the game. You know, somebody knew. It's, it's going to be deeper than this. Somebody knew what somebody was. So, of course, the cousin probably was like, woo do woo Where you at, fam? He probably said, I'm going to give me some um, breakfast or whatnot, you know. It's a spot, but he normally goes to the They say he always went to this spot. So, of course, it was easy to find this man. Like, come on now. It was his cousin. Your family know your whereabouts. And I'm pretty sure he trusted him. And I'm pretty sure, y'all, that when he seen that car, he knew it was his cousin. He knew that was his cousin that, you know, was shooting him. Because, you know, we know our family cars. And they structure, how they stand. He knew who was shooting him. He didn't know who killed him. He looked his murderers dead in the eye, baby. Because he knew exactly who murdered him. And that dumbass got caught quick. Alright. You threw your life away for what? Make it make sense. So that don't mean. So like I said, they playing his music. They, you know, recognizing him. Some of the younger people that, um, like my kids, they didn't know who he was. They, but Dolph is one of the best rappers, you know, come out, come out of Nashville. One of the best rappers. So. And to get recognized in that situation, that's a bad situation. Oh. Like, he was just there trying to eat. That's why, you, when, um, also, let's get on this. So, I don't know when this interview happened with him and Noriega. You know Noriega, the rapper, he on um, Love and Hip Hop now. I think he's Miami. I'm thinking it's Miami. I don't know. But I know he's on Love and Hip Hop. He's Atlanta or uh, LA or something. I don't know. But Noriega told him, like, it's, you can't stay in the hood. Like, when you get to a certain level, you can't just stay in the hood like that. You know? Because the same people that see you rise up is the same people that I hate you. You know? That's why we have a lot of murders in the hood because people hate to see people doing good. And it's sad. I he was giving back to his hood. You know, he was like, I'm not going to change. I'm going to still be me. I'm going to be in my hood. That's a nifty thing. That's a lot of rappers that, you know, went out like that. So... When you make it to a certain, you know, status, be careful when you go back to your hood. Sometimes it ain't meant. You know, when you're going to your back, I know you don't want to, you know, you feel like you don't want to change. You don't want to feel like people to feel like you ain't one of them. But you're not one of them. You don't grew from, some people mentality is not, you know, Right, they still with that street mentality. So when you get to a certain mindset and you you know you growing some things you can't go back to. Some places you can't go back to. Some people you can't talk to no more. Some people you gotta separate yourself from, you know. And that's that's that on that. 
everybody can't come on the same growth with you. You, you your your um path to growth is not for everybody. So remember that, you know. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <coughs> I'm still sick. But let's talk about the next mess. <clears throat> the next mess we got on the our agenda for the the chat about friend. Let's talk about this Trevor Scott thing. I'm going to do a video about this earlier, but of course you know I was sick, so your girl, your friend couldn't do a video. I was I was down. I'm still down now, but I'm getting better. <sighs> Y'all, this Trevor Scott thing, who don't know this Illuminati? This is some, that's some Illuminati shit, like I don't know people that it was a shirt the um the background the scenery of the concert was demonic to me and then on top of that everybody that messed with the kardashians like the kanye west the lamar um what's the the um kind of jenner and that they turned into a man i mean turned into a woman everybody that messed with the kardashians it don't end up right <laughs> so of course, it's some Illuminati stuff. If he didn't know about it, they did. You know. Come on, y'all. This what is this world coming to? Cause it ain't right. I know people that lost their life for nothing. Like they going to see they a rapper they love. And not knowing this their last time on earth, you know. It make it make me scared to even go anywhere. You feel me? It, it's just the fact that we got we following the following the money. These people is Illuminati and they doing the money things in our face and we still it's celebrities. We love celebrities. That's what the that's we love to watch them. And what they're doing is not right. They're sacrificing people. They're doing rituals and all that. Yeah, Illuminati is real, friends. I don't know if y'all be like, girl, what are you talking about? That? Have that wine got into you? No, nah, baby. Illuminati is real. And believe half of what you see, you know, because some things, I don't know. It's just the concert didn't seem real, like, People was falling out before even, people was falling out before the concert even started. So, this telling you, like, did they suck the, like, the air quality wasn't right. They should have just started looking into that then. Like, how can I just fall out? And they, and I watched a couple of videos. They said the music made them dizzy, weak, and all kind of stuff. It was like a weird drum music sound they was playing. Over and over, like they was possessing them, like they was putting them into a trance, you know. It's all weird for them, honey. But the worst thing of all, we, we living in this world that this becoming coming. Um, like for instance, if they make it like you can come and sign this paper to join the Illuminati, don't you know half of the like majority of everybody was on, but except me, I'm not doing it. Will go and sign up for that just for money. That's greed. Money don't rule the world, baby. I mean, like they say, money rule the world now. The most high can rule this world, so now. One and all rule this world. Even is due. But the most high is over all, you know. So, you know, after that, I'm shook. All these young artists, like, what is going on? Y'all sacrificing y'all family. Y'all sacrificing y'all life. And then this thing, you know, they end up dead. Like, what? You know, it's, it's crazy. But let's get on something else. And what y'all think about this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and leave whatever you think below, baby. 
Feed in. Give me some info. You feel me? Because this, everything is going wild right now. It's nuts. Lord. But let's get on to the baby. He said, Danny Lee, um, she, um, pinned him, you know, had a baby. <laughs> I should say that, but pen. <laughs> Shit, that's what he said. <laughs> and she wanted to be his girlfriend. But the baby, when well, it looked like to me, baby, that was your <clears throat> girlfriend. And I'm thinking, though, he was like, she a sad trick because I'm probably. Mm. These are so good, though. Mm mm mm. He said she was his side piece. He said she was his side trick. Because guess what? He said with his baby mom, he never left her. They never broke up. So when you put yourself in situations like that, you got to know, what who is this man I'm dealing with? Who is he? So he had his baby mama, which is not going on with her first baby mama. And we got Danny Lee. Danny Lee cried in bed, like, she was like, she would have loved this man. Like, I feel her pain. But you put yourself in that situation. Go go to child support. Because they're going to tell him up. He's going to try to ask you for your back. He's going to beg, you know, to be back with you. Because guess what? It's cheaper to keep him. But you know, embarrass her. Uh, the whole Americans don't see that. So I'll tell you up in court. Mm -mm -mm. I don't condone people putting people on the chat support, but in this instinct, baby, because she was like, he was like, get out, you need to go. She was like, where am I going to go? If he was a real man, he would have just sit her up like, okay, I'm going to put you in this um, apartment. I'm going to pay for it or whatever for you and my child. I just don't want to be with you no more. It, 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 it was other ways that he could have did that, y'all. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it, he, a real man would have did that. They would have just put her out on the street. It was like, you got to go. She's telling this man she don't got nowhere to go. And at 3 o'clock in the morning, I wouldn't, left any, I wouldn't have left either. Baby, no. Baby, you go. You go on the couch or somewhere. I ain't going nowhere until daylight. And I get a good nap, you know, because I got to take care of your child. If I got to get on the plane or whatever, you feel me? I'm not going nowhere. Okay? So, then he went on saying that, oh, the baby oh. might be more because the baby might not be his baby. Give him a DNA test, take him to a court. Yes, because baby, he, that's what he want. Eat him alive, baby, because... What, why he keeping his other baby mama close by him? Because he don't want her to take, you know, put child support on. Because he's going to be paying a good five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a month, probably more than that. So, Danny, I know you just, just swallowed that hard pill, baby. It's going to get better by the day. Because he's going to eat everywhere he said. Every time he pay you that child support, baby, he going to eat everywhere he said. Because you finna get paid, baby. And put that on the baby all the way to court, okay? All the way to court, into the bank. Give him that DNA test. Go to court on. You try for it. Don't, don't worry about what the media is saying. Fuck them. You got a child to see. So you want to pee in it. Mm -hmm. So... Show him. Okay. You you really pay me. Now I'm going to have somewhere to go because you're going to pay for it. He didn't do that right. I feel so sorry for him. <clears throat> because a lot of women be put in that situation like only dealing with a man because they don't got nobody. They feel like they don't got nobody else. Like She probably feel like she don't got no family. Or nothing, even though her brother done came to the surface. Tell me he gonna beat the baby ass. I, I don't know. They say he a hardcore street hood dude. You feel me? So I don't know. But 
We were talking about the baby done killed somebody before I heard it. So, um, this is gonna be a whole lot of mixing. Ain't no for me. This is gonna be something. <coughs> I'm just here for the ride. There's gonna be more to talk about, baby, because this situation ain't over, baby. If I was so I I'd do that, I'd be like, brother, pipe down. You know, you done threatening him. He can really put he can the baby really can put her brother in jail because he threatening him. And it was out to the world that he threatened him because he put it out on social media. But if I was home. Tell your brother to pipe down. Fight him in court, baby. Because you definitely going to get paid. Mm. I think the grizzle part of the chicken wing. Good. Mm -mm -mm. So let's talk about Stevie J and Fact Evans. So Steve was the one wild on Twitter and social media doing little statuses saying that he was giving her money um every week or something during the holidays and she cheated on him and I believed it because they um they said they erased each other off of social media or whatever, whatnot. But Faith, you didn't learn your stuff with Tupac and Biggie. Come on now, you've been you've been thun, you've been thotting it up for years. You should have learned things. You married now, just settle down. But that's going back on Steve because look how you did Mimi. Look how you did Johnson Hernandez, baby. Johnson Lena Hernandez. Look how you did them. That's karma. And <clears throat> it's two sides of every story also. So he might want to give him what he was giving. You know, that's why she cheated on him. I don't know. But when you married, you know, just divorce this man first and then do what you do, babe. Don't be chopping it up with a, another dude and you still married. And the mess give her so, so after this big situation, he done filed for divorce and whatnot. They was spotting on the beach. Come on now. Y'all about 50 going on 60. Come on now. You know, it, it's time to settle down. Both of y'all sit down. <coughs> sit down, baby. It's a whole lot of mess. And I wonder what the celebrity that she was shooting on Stevie with. I wonder who the guy was. I know it's somebody we know. Probably like another old school rapper or producer. I'm thinking, it's plenty of tea, baby. It is plenty, and I'm going to keep on breaking this up, baby. Mm. This chicken is so good, I fried it from the kitchen. But, <coughs> I'm almost done. I'm still sticky, guys. You probably hear me keep on coughing. But, y'all... Leave a comment below of what you think I should do on the next book, baby. What kind of food? What kind of drink? And it, it's also good just to like, your put a blue heart if you just gonna you know, start pulling up a little drink for me. You know, pouring you something while you looking at my videos. And we laughing, and Kiki, at this mess, friend. Because this is awful. Oh, this is it's too much mess on top of mess. Like, this stuff happening every two days. But I'm at the end of this month, man. Remember, keep it cute. Never move. Tell a friend about your friend. Friend. Tell a friend about your friend.